I'm recording this in October, Halloween is coming up, and I'd like to see if I can make some of my masks more Halloween themed. So I want to take this um, skull piece that I got off of a paintball mask from Amazon and see if I can put it on this Moldex airwave mask and still pass a fit test because that's important. If you're going to modify a mask, you still want it to work as a mask, even if it's decorative. Well, not decorative, even if it's decorated. So I'm going to actually put this on and we'll see if I can pass a fit test. Well, I've got the mask on ready for the fit test. I have to say these airwave masks are really breathable, but I am touching the nose, uh, I'm touching the, the mask with my nose here and that mesh is kind of abrasive. So I'm not loving that aspect. I might need to put tape over my nose to protect it uh, if I was to wear this mask. But uh, the look's not bad. Let's see how the fit test works. Well, I got the maximum score with this mask. This is a very good mask. Um, I don't know that this would necessarily work for you or with another type of mask. Fit is very individual. I think the important thing to note is that if you're going to do mask modifications, please do a home fit test if you can uh, with a nebulizer and some fit test solution. And we'll do videos about that uh, coming up.